Hi, shall we study Bible together? And uh, today's uh, uh, we're talking about about Father because we had a Father's Day last week at our church. So this message today is uh, uh, about the Father's Day. Uh, the place we're going to study is from the Genesis chapter thirty-seven. Um, so if you do have Bible, please open your Bible to uh, Genesis chapter thirty-seven, and I'm going to start. Uh, uh, I'm going to read from the verse one. Uh, I'm going to use uh, NIV. And uh, let me read NIV, uh, the chapter 37, verse 1. Jacob lived in the land where his father had stayed, the land of Canaan. This is a count of Jacob's family line, uh, family line. Joseph, a young man of 17, was attending the flocks with his brothers, the son of Bilad and the son of Zilphat. His father's wives and he brought their fathers a bad news report. A bad report about them. Um, now the Jacob's family uh, is now living in the Jacob's father's land, and uh, Jacob had twelve sons. Uh, now, as you may recall, Jacob had uh, four uh, different wives, and uh, uh, that all the twelve uh, uh, brothers came from different uh, mothers, and uh, uh, each one came from different mothers. Now that uh, uh, Rachel, that uh, whom uh, Joseph loved the most, the Rachel had two sons, and but then Rachel for many years she she didn't have uh, any children, so all the um, other kids, uh, Joseph is uh, Rachel's kids, and uh, so all other uh, brothers are much older than Joseph. Uh, just when Joseph was 17, probably his uh, other brothers came from different mother, were probably like uh, mid 20 or late 20s, or maybe 30s or mid 30s, somewhere, something like that. So uh, they're much, much older than Joseph. Uh, but either, either way, Joseph was uh, helping uh, his brother, and um, but at that time, uh, Joseph probably saw something about his brother that doing something bad. So Joseph was reporting that to his father, and uh, let's see what happens. Uh, verse three. Now Israel uh, loved Joseph. Now the uh, Jacob is also called Israel. So this Israel means Jacob. Now uh, Israel loved Joseph more than any of his uh, other sons because he had been born to him in his old age and he made an uh, uh, ornate rope for him. Uh, when his brothers saw that uh, their father loved him more than any of them, they hated him and could not speak a kind word to him. Um, apparently, uh, the Joseph, the you know uh, very young uh, boy from uh, uh, from the, the Jacob's view, uh, when Jacob had the Joseph, Jacob was already a pretty old man. So uh, Jacob really felt that you know Joseph was a very cute uh, little kid, and so Jacob gave him a special like only uh, uh, robe, special robe for him. And by treating him, treating him something better or uh, nice, uh, other brothers were so jealous, I think, and uh, they they hated uh, uh, Joseph, and they couldn't even talk nice to him. And uh, verse five, Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. He said to them, "Listen to uh, this dream I had." We were uh, uh, binding uh, sheaves of grain out in the field when suddenly my sheaf rose and stood up upright, while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. Um, Joseph told his brothers that you know his sheaf, sheaf, I um, mean the bound of uh, or whatever the grain. <coughs> was stood, stood, up, stood up in the middle and all other brothers one is kind of bowing down to him. It's kind of indicating that uh, eventually you are going to uh, bow down to me or like almost like a worshiping me or something like that. That kind of made brother very, very upset. You know, especially, uh, you know, when we kind of face similar problem, we probably get upset, like, especially uh, like a younger ones. Uh, if you're a senior and the junior start to be bossing you, and sometimes people get very upset, something to do with the age, I would say. And uh, we kind of quite offended because of uh, uh, somebody, if the younger kids did something bad, uh, we sometimes be uh, very much offended. But uh, this apparently happened to uh, Joseph's brother. Uh, verse 8 said, His brother said to him, Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he has said. And verse 9, Then he had another dream. 
and he told it to his brothers. Listen, he said, I had another dream, and this time the sun and the moon and the eleven stars were bowing down to me. Now, that the first dream was bad enough to make the uh, Joseph's brother very much upset about him. But he had another dream, second dream, and this time is the sun and moon and eleven stars. So apparently, his father and mother and uh, you know his brothers, all of them, come and uh, bow down to Joseph or worship him or something like that. So uh, that's a, like a very bad dream. And let's see what happened. The verse ten said, uh, when he told his father as well as his brothers, his father rebuked him and said, "What is this dream you have?" Would your mother and I and your brothers actually come and bow down to the uh, ground before you? His brother was jealous of him, but his father kept that matter in mind. Um, apparently his brother got even more upset and uh, really hated Joseph, but the father had a different attitude. The father uh, put that in his mind. So, you know, father really didn't hate Joseph at all, even though Joseph kind of uh, said something uh, like that. But then the father probably thought like, oh, what this boy will be in the future. Probably for father was kind of a curious, I would say. But anyway, so this was a very totally different attitude uh, from the uh, Joseph brother and compared with uh, Jacob, the father. Father really loved Joseph, so he didn't hate Joseph. But he thought, Joseph is very strange. That's what my father thought. Uh, but then, uh, after this, uh, what happened was that uh, uh, Joseph's brother actually captures Joseph and uh, put him into the little pits, like a big hole on the ground. And uh, they actually sold uh, uh, Joseph. Actually, it was the uh, Judas. It was a Judas idea to sell the Joseph to uh, uh, the merchant uh, uh, came by there. Uh, let's read that. Uh, I'm going to skip to the verse 23 of the chapter 37. So, verse 23, the chapter 37, the Genesis. Let me read this from 23. Uh, okay, here we go. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe, that only robe, were, uh, only robe he was wearing, and they took him and threw him into a cistern. And that cistern was empty. There was no water in it. Now, do you know what the cistern? Cistern is a, like a pit. It's a big hall. And usually has some water in it, but then the, this one is a big hall uh, on the ground, but no water in there. And verse 30, uh, 25, as they sat down to eat their meal, they uh, looked up and saw the caravan of Ishmaeli coming from the uh, Gilead. Uh, their, camp, uh, their camels were loaded with spice and uh, balm and the mar, and they were on their way to take uh, them down to Egypt. Now, here is the spice and balm and the mar. Um, uh, they found a merchant walking, uh, you know, uh, nearby there, and uh, the bomb here is more likely the frankincense. Uh, it's a, you know, frankincense is a special aroma type of a product, and uh, also the mar uh, they carried, and so that the Joseph was sold to this uh, merchant. And uh, verse twenty-six, Judah uh, said to his brother, "What will, uh, what will we?" again if we kill our brother and cover up his blood. Uh, come, uh, let's sell him to the Ishmaeli and not lay our hands on him. After all, he's our brother. Our own flesh and blood. His brothers agree. Now, this is terrible, but uh, Judah uh, actually sold uh, Joseph to the Ishmaeli as a slave and uh, Judas actually uh, obtained the silver coins uh, and when they sold uh, Joseph to the uh, Egyptians, I mean at the, the merchant. So, but then what happened after this is about 20 years or so later, uh, the big famine, uh, famine came that area, so they didn't have any food to eat, so that uh, Jacob's brothers, um, Jacob's uh, sons, uh, Joseph's brothers, uh, they probably they're like a mid 50s, uh, 40s to 50s in that age, and uh, they have to go to the Egypt to buy the food. Um, at that time, the Joseph who was sold to Egypt, uh, the, he did, he was, he, he didn't die. He was actually became the ruler of the Egypt. He was almost like, a, uh, he was a second man on the, uh, in hierarchy in Egypt. Uh, he, he was almost act like a king. 
so that's what happens. And so that when the uh, Jacob's uh, sons, the Joseph's brother, came to Egypt to buy the food, uh, they actually met uh, Joseph, even though they didn't realize it was Joseph, because Joseph was kind of wearing beautiful, ornate clothes at that time. So they couldn't realize that was Joseph. And uh, But then Joseph told them that um, they have to leave Benjamin uh, to the Egypt. Now Benjamin is uh, Joseph's uh, uh, the brother from the same mother, the Rachel, and uh, Rachel only had two sons, uh, Joseph and uh, Benjamin. And so the Joseph told uh, his uh, older brothers that they had to leave uh, Benjamin uh, with Joseph in Egypt, and then you can go home with the food. Um, now I wonder why Joseph say that because probably. Joseph thought that Benjamin possibly mistreated by uh, his brothers because hey, the, uh, Joseph himself uh, was uh, mistreated and he was actually sold to the slave and um, his brother didn't care about him. You know, I mean, sorry, sending the brother to slave is a terrible thing. Think about it. I mean, uh, Joseph, they knew that Joseph had to go through the rest of his life in under the have to work for some under somebody and uh, being treated like a slave so you know he had to work so hard and uh, you know every day kind of hard working and uh, you know uh, the barely able to probably live his you know uh, uh, life kind of and uh, but his brother didn't care he they they put Joseph in the, such a spot uh, condition and tried to be a slave for others and uh, but then so the Joseph probably concerned about Benjamin so much that Benjamin possibly be mistreated by uh, his brothers because he was the mistreated, uh, you know, because uh, the Benjamin, the same mother came from. So uh, probably that's why the Joseph told that to his brother. But then what happened was after this, um, apparently um, the Judas, the same person who sold Joseph as a slave, uh, he responded to Joseph's request of uh, leaving the Benjamin uh, with him. Now, the place I'm going to skip to the Genesis chapter 44, uh, start from verse 30. The Genesis chapter 44, verse 30. What happens now that uh, Joseph told uh, the, his brothers to leave the Benjamin? And uh, Judas answered to this, the verse 30. So now, if the boy is not with us, when I go back to your servant, my father, and if my father, whose life is closely bound up with the boy's life, uh, see that boy isn't there, he will die. Now that uh, uh, Judas told uh, Joseph that, you know, I mean, I, I, if the, uh, uh, Benjamin's not with him, that his father will die. <laughs> And uh, is it your servants will bring the gray head of our father down to the grave in sorrow? The verse 32. Your servants guarantee the boy's safety to my father. I said, if I do not bring him back to you, I will bear the brain before you and my father uh, all my life. In the verse 33. Now then, please let your servant remain here as my Lord's slave in place of the boy. Wow! Now, uh, Judas, who sold uh, Jake, uh, uh, Joseph as a slave, now he actually told Joseph that, you know, a priest made me your slave and ex uh, let the Benjamin go home with other brothers. And uh, remaining the third, verse 36, and let the boy return with his brothers. Now, can I go back to my father if the boy is not with me? No, do not let me see the misery that would come on my father. And uh, uh, Judas, who sold Joseph, say so. And the reason he said that because uh, Judas said, I cannot let my father die. Oh, I did, uh, you know, he knows his father Jacob will be uh, miserable. Uh, by not seeing the uh, Benjamin, and uh, so uh, that's what happens. It's very interesting. Uh, the 
uh, Judas, who actually really sold Joseph to slave, now he wanted to be a slave and uh, save uh, Benjamin because his love toast to father. And let's see what happened after this, how uh, Joseph uh, replied to this, uh, starting from the verse uh, chapter 45, I'm going to read from verse 2 in uh, uh, Genesis 45 verse 2. And uh, he wept so loudly, this he in Joseph, and Joseph wept so loudly that the Egyptians heard him, and the Pharaoh's household heard about it. Joseph said to his brother, I am Joseph. Is my father still living? But his brothers were not able to answer him because they were terrified at his presence. Of course, they just couldn't realize that was Joseph. Joseph had the beautiful ornate uh, uh, robes because he's, a, he's a really like a king in Egypt. He's a ruler, uh, you know, uh, Egypt. And the verse 4, Then Joseph said to his brother, uh, Come close to me. Uh, when they had done so, he said, I am your brother, the one you sold into Egypt. Wow. Joseph revealed himself and the power of his brother go, oh, You're Joseph. Oh, they couldn't believe it. And uh, the, after this, uh, verse 5. And now, uh, now the Joseph told his uh, brother and said, And now, do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourself for sending me here. Because... It was to save uh, lives that God sent me ahead of you. Wow. For two years now, uh, there, was, there had been famine in the land. And for the next five years, uh, there will be no plowing and the reaping. But God sent me ahead of you. God sent him ahead of you to preserve, uh, uh, preserve for you a remnant on earth and to save your lives. Uh, by the great deliverance. This is amazing that Joseph should really uh, hate his brother or this is a great opportunity for Joseph to revenge his brother but instead Joseph saw that Judas love, uh, Judas attitude uh, towards to Benjamin and especially that Joseph saw that Judas love uh, father Jacob. And uh, because of that, Joseph totally forgave his brother. Even though probably Joseph had a little doubt before that uh, that's why he asked uh, the Benjamin to kept with him in Egypt and uh, you guys go home. But instead of doing that, now that all that anger and all that was forgiven, uh, that Joseph told uh, the brothers, it was God brought me here. It was a God's uh, 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 plan, and um, it was a uh, it was a destined for him to be here. It was a God's plan, and uh, he was predestined to be here because of that. Uh, actually, whole things is with in the God's plan. Now, I wonder. Uh, you may have a terrible life in uh, you know your in your life, and uh, terrible things may happen to you. And uh, especially like your brother or somebody very close to you maybe betray you and you end up have to work so hard and you end up like a slave kind of or maybe you lost so much money because your you know, brother or sisters took it, uh, all the wealth from parents and so on. But uh, I don't know what happened to your life but then sometimes um, you know, uh, we, we could have been mistreated by somebody else and um, um, most of the case we uh, we detest that person and we like dislike that person but in case of Joseph said all oh, this was God's plan and for eventually things to go uh, better and to save life and um, most of all that uh, Joseph indicating uh, is a forgiveness is a very important. Now, according to the Bible, if you do not forgive, you not gonna God will not forgive you. <laughs> so that's a, that's a principle the Bible teaches us. It's the importance of forgiveness. Um, in this message, I see that uh, that Joseph uh, actually forgave uh, Judas, and uh, even though Judas is one sold Joseph to the slave, and most of all, it's incredible that uh, Joseph indicate that was God's plan. And let's see what happens after this, the verse 8. So then, it was not 
you who sent me here, but God. He made me a father to Pharaoh, a lord of his entire household, and ruler of all Egypt. Now, hurry back to my father and said to him, This is what your son Joseph said, God has made me lord of all Egypt. Come down to me and don't delay. Now, Joseph told his brother, I'm just like a father to Pharaoh, even though the Pharaoh is supposed to be, uh, you know, head of Joseph. But now Joseph is actually indicating the Pharaoh and I am, uh, the Joseph is uh, like an equal level. Uh, Joseph is almost like a, uh, it is like a king or a father to Pharaoh. And then he said that I'm the Lord of Egypt. Wow, that's amazing. And then uh, the Joseph told his brothers in uh, stuff from verse 10, you shall live in the region of Goshen and uh, be near me. You and your children and the grandchildren, your flocks and herd and all you have, I will provide for you there because five years of famine are still to come. Otherwise, you and your household and all who belongs to you will, be, uh, will become uh, destitute. Uh, you can see for yourself and so uh, can my brother Benjamin. Uh, that it is really I who I am speaking to you. Tell my father about all the honor uh, accorded me in Egypt and about everything you have seen and bring my father down here quickly. Now, Joseph told his brother and say, hey, why don't you guys come to Egypt and I will give you a beautiful land and I will take care of you and uh, you and all the Jacob's belongings, all the brothers and all the rich, everything they have is safely come to Egypt and live with them and the beautiful uh, promised land. And so you can, you guys can live. And then the Joseph told, I'm, I'm the Lord of the Egypt and, uh, um, let the father see, uh, let the father know that all the glory and, uh, uh, Joseph has here. Now that's amazing. Now some of you probably notice that, uh, Joseph and, uh, Jesus is like a double image here. Like, uh, Joseph is almost like a model for, uh, Jesus. And uh, because as you see that, uh, both Joseph uh, and Jesus was uh, treated like uh, to worship. Uh, you know, Joseph saw the dream, and um, the all the brothers, and the, including even his parents, came and uh, worship uh, Joseph in a dream. And that is uh, really indications of uh, uh, kingship uh, or lordship. And then also uh, the the merchant, uh, the caravans uh, had the mar and the, uh, frankincense. Uh, now. Mar and frankincense, why they had that? Uh, because uh, back then, the Egypt, uh, the, they has, uh, they made everybody, uh, to mummies after they died. You know, uh, you know, in Egypt is the only country I know that daddy become mummy. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But anyway, <laughs> but either way, uh, in Egypt, uh, Egyptians, they made everything uh, mum mummified, uh, even the cat, even their pet, um, become mummy. So they use a lot of frankincense and uh, uh, mar to uh, clean the body and uh, preserve uh, dead dead body and so that dead body not can decays and to make mummies uh, they have they had that kind of uh, medicines that they have to use. But in the frankincense and mar is also the same gift that uh, the wise men brought to Jesus when he was born. And uh, also when Jesus died, uh, the, before he died, the ladies washed his uh, body with uh, uh, frankincense and mar. And also that when he died, uh, the, uh, uh, the people actually uh, 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 cleaned his body with uh, 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 those medicines and, and then put him into the uh, uh, hall. Now, that is another interesting thing. And then also the Joseph was put into the pit, like a big huge hall on the ground. And so Jesus, Jesus was put into the hall. But the hall they put uh, uh, Jesus or Joseph is now, it's, it's empty. Because actually uh, they're not dead. They are, sub they are considered to be de died, de died, but they're not. And uh, actually uh, both of them, Joseph and Jesus, both alive. And both went to the um, uh, new locations. And uh, as Jesus is the king and the lord of all, that Joseph became the king and lord of all uh, Egypt. And 
the uh, interesting is uh, he became a king and he told uh, his brothers that uh, Joseph brought his brother to a promised land just like Jesus told us that uh, he will take us to the uh, paradise uh, that where, where he is. And also the people, person who betrayed Jesus and Joseph has same name, uh, Judas. Um, Judah and Judas is uh, exactly the same name. Um, that just uh, one uh, uh, pronounced in the Hebrew way and the one pronounced in the Greek way. But the Judas uh, and Judah, uh, they both is the same person, same same, uh, same person, but same name. That person who has and uh, Judah betrayed uh, Jesus with a silver coin, same as uh, Judas uh, 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 Judah uh, betrayed uh, Joseph with uh, coins. Um, also interesting about the name Joseph because uh, Jesus' father, of course Jesus' father is a uh, father in heaven, but his father on earth, uh, the uh, man who raised Jesus uh, on earth, uh, his name is Joseph, uh, Mary's husband. And also uh, when Jesus was buried, uh, the, he was buried in uh, uh, the tomb belonged to the person's name Joseph. So almost like uh, Joseph buried Jesus. It is, but you know, I mean, the name name the person who buried Jesus was Joseph, and this is kind of indications that uh, Jesus saying that the Joseph like his father act like. So either way, uh, the, there's a lot of correlation between the Jesus and Joseph here. And uh, most of all, it's important things we see here is um, God's plan for all this. Now, I wonder, some of you in this video are still hating your brothers and sisters, uh, or m maybe your relatives, or maybe some of the uh, parents you hate. Uh, we we have a tendency to hate each other and uh, you know I mean something may happen to our life and instead of forgiving we hate and the reason our world is such a difficult place to live is because we don't have a love uh, in this world I mean we hate each other and um, you know uh, we well the people may hate you and also you may hate others and this hating uh, is one really made everything difficult to live well kind of dark it's a very cold world that we live in and um, according to the Bible uh, if we don't forgive God not gonna forgive us uh, this story today is really learning about the forgiveness and all that terrible things may happen to you. Uh, it's a, within a God's plan and uh, we should forgive person. Now, um, Joseph forgave uh, Judas after Joseph found out that Judas loved his father. And uh, Judas really didn't want to see, uh, he, didn't, he didn't want to see that uh, Jacob uh, uh, sorrow and Jacob died from the not seeing the uh, Benjamin so that uh, that made that kind of uh, made Joseph to f able to forgive the Judas uh, just like us if we love our father God and uh, if we love our father if we really love our God uh, the our God forgive us now uh, God himself become man and uh, we call Jesus and uh, God, Father God sent the Son, Son God and uh, uh, for to forgive us and if we accept Jesus as your Savior and uh, that act of love, act of acceptance, act of love toast to uh, God uh, that made us, uh, that that is the reason that God will forgive us and our sin. So, issues are here. Do you love God? And uh, do you have a heart for our Father God and uh, Jesus? Now, interesting, uh, Joseph indicate that uh, he's really equal with the Pharaoh father. Uh, he's a father to Pharaoh. Uh, so the Father God and Jesus is the same God. And uh, if we love Jesus means we love our Father God and um, verse Father is the same. Uh, do we love our Father? Do we love our God? And if you do, you'll be forgiven 
and God will make you uh, put you into the uh, kingdom of heaven. Uh, you go into the kingdom of heaven. Uh, you become a citizen of heaven and God's kingdom. And that's what the promise we have. Uh, if you have not accepting God, uh, Jesus as your Savior, uh, please do so. It's a totally free gift. You don't have to pay any penny even for it. Uh, totally free. Why not? And um, then if you have eternal life, uh, you're totally being forgiven and you can go to uh, a promised land. That is amazing things. And all this was within the God's uh, uh, providential uh, plan that he had for your life and um, uh, we should trust God and we should forgive people because it is a really a God had a plan for us even though apparently look terrible things may happen to your life but that is all that to see for you to love God you to have opportunity to love God you to find God who God is so please accept him and uh, as your Savior uh, shall we pray Lord, thank you for this opportunity to share about you to others through the uh, YouTube that indeed you came to earth and died for us. And if we accept, if we love you and we accept you, then you forgive us as well and uh, you bring us to the eternal place. Thank you, Lord. You're going to give us eternal life because of our uh, faith in you. Thank you. Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, take care. Have a nice day. Bye.